Brexit, Brexit, Bremen, Brelicious, Bramonium, Brandem Brandemonium. We don't know what's going on here. Today the market traded up 40 points, traded down 150 points, traded back up and south and north and east and west. We had no directionality. We were all over the place. Inventory oil numbers came out. They were worse. The market rallied on that. Then the whole market rolled over and sold off about 150 points. Looking at the graph, then the market bottomed out mid-afternoon. I got a little bit long. Market went down. I got a little bit short. Market went the wrong way. I ended up having a cooperative day by the end of the day because I was short and the market went down a little bit. But it's confusing. We are in a state of amazement, confusion. VIX soared today. People buying protection against their portfolios for the vote tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen. Hello, England. Hello, Germany. Hello, everyone in the world. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. London time, the polls open in England. The vote will be cast by all of the comrades. By 5 p.m. English time, all the votes will be cast. By 3 a.m. U.S. time on Friday, a decision will have been made. By the open of the market in Europe, 8 a.m., 3 o'clock our time, the, the world will be reacting to it. We will open the next day on Friday, one of the biggest days of the year, a huge Russell rebalance, and we will know what the decision is going to be. Okay, how much is already locked into this trade? Are they going to be in? Are they going to be? Are they going to be in or out? Every time I go out, they bring me back in. I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. 54, 46 out. 54, 46 in. Which way do we go? I may look like Einstein. I'm not as brilliant as him. Oh, really, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know what's going to happen. A lot of people are in the trade. A lot of people seeking protection in the VIX. Wild and craziness. Madness. Moving parts. I don't even know what to tell you. We have a situation that's going to happen on Friday. I will discuss it a little bit today. We've got huge uh, Russell 1000 and 2000 rebalance in the market. The market, as you know, has just been wild and crazy over the last few months. Normally on these days, people are into the into this trade for three weeks going into the big trade, buying and selling stocks that they need to adjust in the indexes. Due to the potential huge volatility that the Brexit offers in this market, people have stayed away from the high-risk trade. Basically, coming into this trade, people who are in long-term are buying protection, people who are getting into trades may be sitting on the sidelines waiting. Rather, you know, the chances are you could either be lucky or you could get hurt badly. So why not sit on the sidelines, wait for things to settle in, and then get involved? So Friday is going to be a huge day. Tomorrow is going to be another day of pins and needles, walking on broken glass, and then Friday is going to be the big trade. I love it. I can't wait. For me, it's the Super Bowl on Friday. I love you all. NYSE Einstein, out.